Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Return to Monkey Island. Last time we left off, uh, things went bad, and now we gotta- now we gotta persuade people, um, to change their votes so that we can go to Monkey Island, because everyone said, No, we're not going to Monkey Island. Why would I want to go to Monkey Island? Uh, Rose, if I recall correctly, wanted us to, like, motivate her. Like, she wanted to be reminded of why she's working with LeChuck. And Bob wanted a book. I didn't like mean to do that. Alright, let's go see what, uh, Flambe wants. Flambe, what can I interest you in? Working hard? Never. What's the book? It's a book of underworld jokes. Jokes from beyond the pale. <laughs> Unheard of in this world. Ooh, that sounds like something that Bob would want. Does it hurt to have your head on fire? I'm a demon. We're sort of all about that. You get used to it. If you stuck your head in a bucket of water, would it help? Demon fire burns into water, so no. Hmm, we were told about how to put out demon fire, so... I'm guessing you don't wear hats. Once in a while, I look good in them. For a few seconds. I can't stop thinking about your head. I mean, what it would be like to have a head that was on fire. I can help you out with that, if you are really curious. Alrighty. So that seems to be it there. Underworld jokes, you say? Any good? Hilarious. Would you describe that book as entertaining? I would use a shorter word, but yes. Think you'll be done reading soon? No. I don't really have anything else to do. Let's talk about your vote on going to Monkey so I need to give you something else. Are there else. any particular favors I can do for you? I don't know a lot about your interests. My main interests are sleeping and eating. I try to do both as much as possible. Me too. Do you have a favorite food? Oh, yes. Scorched Alaska. Salty like widow's tears. Sweet like revenge. And fiery like a hot polka to the tongue. Uh, except when Putra makes it, unfortunately. She does not make it hot enough for my taste. That's why I need the pepper. Okay, so what is Scorched Alaska exactly? Tell me again about Scorched Alaska. Prepared correctly, it should be like a hot poker to the tongue. Yeah, so that's it. Okay. Well, I imagine if I get you that, then you'll be done reading. So I gotta get you some food that is hot. Then I can give the book to Bob. Keep up the bad okay. work. Okay. Always. All right. There's nothing else to interact with up here. Oh, there's a trivia card right there. Okay. Well, give me that. Gimme, give gimme. Give How many prisoners are in Ice Quarry? Dunno. <laughs> like I said, I'll probably try to answer all these, like... I don't know. Maybe I should just... I See, the problem is I don't know which ones are in this game or which ones are like LucasArts questions or... I mean, I don't think that one's a LucasArts question, but how much are in the future of this game? Maybe I should answer it just to get it to go away. There is no ice quarry. Damn it. Alright, well we can pick it back up again later, and now I know I've answered the one that... That was honestly the worst one to answer. That one probably was not the correct answer. Well, I know it wasn't the correct answer now, but there was a low chance that was the correct answer. Alright, so like what are we doing stain. now? Yeah, smells worse than it looked. Let's go down... There's another trivia card right there. Weird spot for one. Alright, what's this one? Uh... Coat of Arms of Bermuda Ice Castle. Odina is the reigning queen of Bermuda. I don't know. What do you want? Uh, Flare? What? Are you, like, even undead? Forgive me, but I'm unclear. What exactly is your job on this ship? I'm the second mate, bosun, gunner, ship surgeon, and composer. And I do the laundry. Wow. Save a little for the rest of us, huh? You after my jobs? Better not be. I need the cash. I'm saving up. Well, it would have been really, really easy if you were in, uh, Return of the Obra Dinn. I could have filled out like ten people at once with that. What are you saving up for? None of your business, Swabby. What's that you're working on? It's theme music for LeChuck. I'm sketching out a melody. I'm happy with the first two notes. They're both dope. 
The repetition emphasizes LeChuck's relentless nature, his dogged pursuit of his goals. It's a quality I admire. Still working on the other notes, my target is seven total. I'm hoping to work in an augmented fourth to make it sound demonic. Right, right. I understand completely. You must have some scrubbing to get to, right, Swabby? I recommend a tuba for LeChuck. Tuba seems like a a, a good LeChuck, you know, instrument. Bom, 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 bom. Uh, all right. So I'm probably gonna have to help you out with the score to get that. Can we talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island? No. Oh, come on. There must be something I can do for you. Something you want? Nothing you can give me. Try me. Okay, fine. Earlier today, I lost my grandmother's whale knife. It was a gorgeous heirloom. I treasured it, and now it's gone. Bring me the knife, and I'll vote for your stupid plan. Great. Can you tell me where and when you last saw it? It was sticking out of Gullet's back, right after I stabbed him with it. Probably still there. LeChuck threw Gullet over the side. Yep. Joke's on you, Swabby. <laughs> and I guess on me, too. Now beat it. I'm busy. Interesting. So, I was wondering if there was going to be a vote that I just straight up couldn't get. Yours seems like it might be impossible, or there's some crazy way that I can actually get the knife from Gullet's corpse. Trivia card! Alright, let's get hit with some more trivia. What is uh, next to a dead end on Terror Island? Where is Cog Island located? Oh my god. There's so many I don't know! Okay, so nasty implements, reflect on a piece of wood. It won't keep anyone out, but it could keep something in. Could keep something in. There must be something fairly nasty in there. What could it be? Panther? Python? Undead, creepy, crawly monster? I could get mauled or something. I could get mauled or something. Hey, Putra, what horrible creature are you keeping in here that you have to bar it shut? What? The cupboard's empty. The board's just there to keep it from flying open in heavy seas. Oh. You think you'd never been in a galley before? Somehow I wish I'd never asked. It was more exciting before. Yeah, now it's incredibly boring. Okay, tomorrow's dinner, smell the ingredients. I really want this. Remind me what you told me about the pepper. It's very, very, very hot and very empty. Where do I get more is the question. Yeah. Listen to it's the soup. kind of soothing in a weird way. What? It's kind of soothing in a weird way. Guybrush, you're weird. What? So how do I get more demon pepper? Must be somewhere. Ugh. Ooh, I think I'll skip dinner tomorrow. All right, Putra, what's up? So, Putra. Chef, Putra, please call me Chef. Everybody does. They do? No, never, but they should. How come people don't call you Chef? Because they're a bunch of pedestrian clods who wouldn't know a great meal if it hit them in the mouth. Fair. Which, by the way, it often does, if you cook it right. Or wrong. But mainly it's because technically I am a cook, not a chef. It's a job title. No, well, I mean, maybe it's because you're, you're, you're serving scrapings for dinner. So a chef is better than a cook? Not necessarily. I mean, a good cook makes better food than a lousy chef. But being a cook is mostly about mastery of materials and technique. Whereas a chef adds artistry, improvisation, and innovation. Plus you get Anyone a cool hat. who's tasted my boiled monkfish and haggis dumplings should agree that I deserve that title. Oh, haggis. Oh god, haggis. So a chef outranks a cook? Yeah, of course on a ship this size I'd still be the only one making food, so that part doesn't mean anything. It's just about the recognition. What if I got you a promotion? That's probably what you want. Does a chef get paid more than a cook? I mean, yes, but on this ship, not enough to make a difference. It's the principle of the thing. Well, have you tried to get a promotion? Only about a dozen times. I keep the written request handy, complete with case studies and cost-benefit analysis. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. But LeChuck refuses to sign it. Management. <laughs> yeah. God. Well, I'm gonna take that and sign it myself, I'm sure. I don't suppose you know how to make Scorched Alaska? Of course I can make Scorched Alaska, but I'm not going to. Why not? Scorched Alaska is the kind of thing that requires a skilled chef. Apparently, I'm still only a cook. I see. 
Okay, so yeah, this is basically just like a trade quest, <laughs> effectively. I gotta find where this begins, and then I just go in a line to each character and give them what they want. So, Bob wants the book from uh, Flambe, Flambe wants the, bland wants the Scorched Alaska from you, and you want a signature from LeChuck. What exactly is a Scorched Alaska? Imagine a dessert shaped like a huge legless jellyfish with a texture like ice cream wrapped in packing foam, and it sets your face on fire when you eat it. <laughs> Ew. Appetizing. Not really. It sounds awful. Did you know Gullet well? Sure. He and I were the only zombies in the crew until you came along. Uh, sometimes I forget I'm a zombie. No, I don't. Every time I try to get a decent cooking job at a restaurant or some swanky manor house, they say I'm too green, and they play it off like they're talking about experience level, but I know what they mean. Zombies need not apply. We don't want them rotting near the food. You must have experiences like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My mm -hmm. birthday party clown gig. Bridge club shunned me. I think all we want to do is eat brains. Oh yeah, birthday party clown. My birthday party clown gig really dried up. Imagine thinking zombies are scarier to children than clowns are. <laughs> There's no justice. It's absurd. How did you become a zombie? Oh, the usual way. I was at the culinary academy at the time. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction to some strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Me? Um... I'm a zombie by... <laughs> marriage! <laughs> Another zombie bit me while trying to eat my brain. I'm a zombie by marriage. I'm a zombie by marriage? <laughs> Good one. I was married once, too. I know what you mean. Okay. <laughs> Dumb joke. What was Gullet like? Well... You'll have noticed he was a bit of a bully. Yeah. Not at all. He didn't have much power or control in his life, and he was insecure about that. Mm -hmm. So he compensated by being domineering, vicious, and cruel whenever he had the opportunity. You don't say. But he had his good side. He wrote poetry. Nobody else knows that. He kept it a secret. He was always afraid someone would steal his ideas. Not that anyone would have. His poems were total garbage. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, you sounded like a jerk. Just wanting to be mean to people just because you were insecure. Your insecurity projecting onto everyone else. Alright. Anyway. Uh, sure you don't want to make that, and I'd like to... Yeah, let's... You're probably just going to tell me to get the thing, I'd but... I'd like to try to sway you on the Monkey Island vote. Save your breath, I'm unswayable. There's only one opinion I value, and that's Iron Roses. She's the smartest one on the ship. Second smartest. Now that you mention it, I'm remembering that I said just last week that I'd always vote with Rose. So I'm gonna do that on this too. Whatever way Rose votes, that's how I'll vote. Thanks for reminding me. Oh. Oh, okay, that's, that's simple then. Okay, so I don't even really need to win your vote. I just need to win Roses and then you're along too. I'll let you get back to cooking. All right, well, thanks for keeping things simple for me. Alrighty. So, we have a few things that we need now. So, we're good there and everything. So, yeah, what's this? Reminder to all crew. Extinguish demon fire with the proper extinguishment. Other methods will not work. I don't know what the proper extinguishment is, though. I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. Alright, let's go see LeChuck. You, Swabby, come over here. Sure. You be new to my ship. I like to meet each of my crew. What's your name, Swabby? I don't know. I was going to be interviewed. Uh, Guy, Br uh, Mike. <laughs> Bloodsword, the feared, crazy beard, the beardless, eye gouger, the reckless. Swabby is fine. I like what you've done with the place. Oh, I like what you've done with the place would be funny because you'd be like, wait, how do you know what my place looks like? Yeah, let's do that one. I like what you've done with the place. Look, I'm just going to call you Swabby. <laughs> it's not good for the chain of command if we get too friendly. Any questions? None? Good, I like an unquestioning crew. Now, get back to work before I use your entrails as bait. 
Wait! All right. Um... Don't forget the keel hauling tomorrow at four. I like to think of it as a team building exercise. I won't. All right, don't be late for the keel hauling. Got it. So, hmm. So that's that's it. That's all I got, huh? So what am I doing then? I mean, there's no reason to really be down here. I don't believe. And I'm all- I can't get any more chicken grease, so... Still don't totally know what to use the chicken feed for. Hmm. Alright, well there's something I need to do somewhere. You know what, let's try and uh, get back out to that place. With like the rudder and stuff. Yeah, over here. So is there anything interesting I can do down here? What if like the knife was just down here? Cause you got thrown into the water. Right. Uh, I can't peer into these portholes and really do anything with them. That was just a fish. There you are. This is where we get the knife. Cool. I was wondering if you were over here. Yeah, I was wondering if you would be off the side of the ship or something when I came out here. Cool. That's Flare Gory's grandmother's whale knife. It's a beauty. You clown. That isn't gonna do any good. It wasn't even bothering me. Alrighty. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. I have to say, I thought you were gone for good. I was feeling no small amount of pleasure about it, in fact. It'll take more than a bath to get rid of old gullet. Now pull me out of here before I hang you by your own intestines, swabby. Well, it's actually first swab now. What is? Me. The Chuck gave me your job. You? Not likely. I do prefer a management role. Less scrounging, more lounging. I'm gonna give your pancreas to my rat for a pillow! You might want to take a friendlier tone. This is my friendly tone, you blabbering pile of excrement! You can't hold your breath for ten minutes, though. It's only eight now. I can hold my breath for ten minutes, more or less. How about you? Well, technically, I don't have to breathe at all. But it's a reflex, isn't it? You can't really stop doing it, but it feels like drowning the whole time. So get me out of here right now, you colossal git. Ooh, that sounds awful. You constantly feel like you're drowning. I'm the only one who knows you're down here. Not true. I know I'm down here, don't I? Well, wow. I guess you've got me there. Checkmate. <laughs> if I leave you here, do you think you can free yourself? Of course not. You think I haven't tried that already? It's a matter of leverage, as in... I'm gonna get a lever and smack you in the head with it if you don't get me out of here right now. That's not a very nice way to ask. Once we set sail, you'll probably be crushed into paste by the rudder. Why would you tell me that? Well, in case you're worried about being stuck for a long time. When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna eat both your legs, throw them up, and then eat them all over again. It would be smart of me not to give you the opportunity then. I see. You're not even gonna at least shut them out first or anything? Okay. Nice talking to you, Gullet. What do you mean, nice talking to you? Oh, I don't mean it literally, of course. Just politely ending our conversation. Wait, no, no, get, get me out of here for pity's sake. You baboon! I get you for this. Yeah, this is uh, pretty rough, actually. I mean, th it's, it's almost as horrible as what we did to Stan. Might actually just be as horrible, considering you gave me the little tidbit about how you're, like, basically constantly have the sensation of drowning. That is pretty horrible. All right, well, we have what we need to go give, um, what was it, Foley, the knife back? So we can go do that. That'll get us one vote. Then I just gotta figure out what's going on with the rest of this stuff. Here you go. Oh wait, consider the origins. It's Flare Gory's grandmother's whale knife. I found your knife. My grandmother's knife. Thanks, Swabby. I have no idea how you pull that off, but I guess a deal's a deal. I'll vote for your stupid plan. And you give me nothing else, right? Uh, Flair? What do you want? Uh, I'll check in your vote. How come you stabbed Gullet? Well, how come you stabbed Gullet? He asked too many questions. How many questions did he ask? One. I see. Well, I should probably get going then, huh? Okay, so... Yeah, what do I do about the rest of them. So one of you wants, like, to be inspired by LeChuck, and then the whole 
thing with the cook and everything is connected to, to Bob and all of that. There's there's a whole lunch going on. Yeah, was that screaming? Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. Oh wait, I should have done two. One bell, voting hour. All right, everybody vote. The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote I. Nay. Nay. I. Nay. Nay. That's more eyes than before. Yeah. But the vote to go must be unanimous. Sorry, Swabby. So, that's how we call it when we want to. So, let's do two and get LeChuck to yell. Because it'll maybe make LeChuck leave his office? So let's do... One, two... That time again already? Well, let's get to it. All right, you bucket of worthless maggots! Why is the ship's cauldron still empty? I distinctly ordered a mystical voodoo potion. If a ship is going to function properly, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 flame. Oh, wait, well, let's actually listen to what you say if you say Conclusion, some different things. Shape up, or the eels will be gnawing on your carcass! All right, same time tomorrow, then. Dismissed. Damn it. I didn't know that was gonna end it. Shit. Okay, well, I, I wanted to- uh, I wanted to see what other stuff you said. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ring it twice again. Bang, bang. That time again already? Back All right. straight, you shifty, feckless parasites! Earlier today, in fact, not even an hour ago, I clearly heard someone on this deck mention Guybrush Threepwood. Out loud! If a ship is going to function properly, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 play you on a knife, blah, blah. Blah, blah, kill hole, blah, blah, walk. Okay, Bang. you're not saying anything too interesting. Let's just go down here and sneak into your cabin and grab some stuff. I just wanted to see what you said. What's this? That's what I need to sign. Map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. What's it's this? not much of a map. Mm. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. Okay, that's not... There's nothing to do there, really. Hmm... Is that the only new thing in here? I mean, there's a trivia card. Which, I think this is one of the ones I've already gotten, but it's like respawns. Light Windows. Production for Monkey Island 1 happened at... Uh... I mean, I don't think it's the Skywalker Ranch. Lucasfilm North seems too... obvious. Island? No. I don't know. I don't know my history of Lucas Lucasfilm. Lucas Arts. Which is more disturbing. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be hmm. a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. So why can't I take this? I, I was I was hoping it would maybe be something that would let me give the, the thing. Oh wait, wait, wait! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm an idiot. Shit. Uh, I never grabbed the, the thing right that you said here. Yeah, I never grabbed your request for promotion. Putra makes a compelling case for promotion. I never did grab this, but now we can get it probably. We probably needed you out of here to grab this. Future makes a compelling case for promotion. Well, we gotta steal this too. I don't need to clutter up my inventory with another item. Oh. It's Chef Putra's empty demon pepper shaker. But I need it. I need, well, I need demon pepper, but unfortunately you don't have any. Wait, what is this at the bottom? Feel the heat? Putra keeps a hot fire going here. Listen. It's kind of soothing in a weird way. Smell? Old boots and deodorant. It's like a college dormitory. Interesting. So feeling the heat is separate, but hmm, nasty ingredients, pasta. Da, da, da. Okay, so nothing super interesting going on there. Is there anything in this that you were sitting in front of? No. So let's try taking the thing back to LeChuck's place. Does LeChuck have like a stamp or something that I can use to approve this thing? Hmm. Putra makes a compelling case for promotion. Can I sign it? Yeah, Forge, yeah, there we go. I don't go. think I could mimic his signature. It's pretty distinctive. Damn it. Well, what if I put it on the table? Yes. Eh, this isn't remotely like a map. He'd notice it right away. Damn it. No, I was so sure maybe that was it. Ah. Uh. 
This isn't remotely like a map. You wouldn't fall for it. Combine some things? No. Hmm. Well, I could swap this. Yeah, so I do have the... Yeah, I can swap that. I was hoping to get you to sign it by swapping it with the map on your desk or something. I don't know why you would sign the damn map, though. The map's a map. I don't think he'll spot the difference. Now I just need a unanimous vote from the crew. No problem. Okay, well, I got my map, at least. In your search of the red berry bush, follow the stunned monkey hand, stick to the path by the wooden chicken, sneak past the bees and heed the sign, X marks the spot. Okay, so we got the map. Good shit, good shit. Is that all I need to do in the chucks? Feel the warmth, feel the warmth, admire that from a safe distance. Yeah, but I still need to get LeChuck to sign this, right? Maybe I can come back in here and just give it to you and say it's something else. How's it going in there, Murray? I don't know what you're planning now. Okay, well, bye-bye. So, I think that's everything I can do down here, right? So, we did all of that, we did that. Return to the hold, but there's no real reason to do so. All right. In conclusion, shape up or the eat all right. All right, bye bye, LeChuck. So, so what did so we got the map from that? I have this request for promotion. I still need to get Demon Pepper, but I don't know how to go about doing so. Herm, I did Looks not like mean to to do that. Demon Pepper. I was wondering if that's like gunpowder, but probably not, right? Oh wait, demon pepper? Hmm. Yeah, devil crabs like limbs, apparently. These are devil crabs. Can I do anything with you? It says you like limbs. So I, I think I would need a limb to give you or something to interact with you in some way. And I don't have anything like that, so... Hmm. Used up potion supplies. I don't know what that really is. It's just like a weird totem. There's nothing else you could tell me, right? Looking hard? Never. Uh, about your vote. I think you'll be done. I can't stop thinking about your head. Keep up the bad work. Bad Always. work. Hmm. Yeah, these other things we might be following up on next time. I at least made some progress today, but let's go check in with LeChuck and see if I can get you to sign this. Can't you see me be thinking? Make it quick, Swabby! Is this about a promotion for Putra again? I've told her a hundred times I'm never going to sign that. One more thing, Swabby. Now that you'll be first swab, you'll be needing to fill out the Swabby report. Take this report, fill it out, and give it to Iron Rose for her initials. Some say it's Grog that keeps a pirate ship running. It's not. It's paperwork. Sounds awful. So I gotta give... Sw first swab report. Log miss is found around the ship. Return to Iron Rose for her initials. So, I gotta go to the sh I gotta go around the ship and five find, find five messes? That looks like a permanent stain. Yeah, smells worse than it looks. Do I actually have to, like, mark things? Disgraceful. I do. Okay, so I can get Rose's... Yeah. Potion stain on upper deck. Okay. What else am I gonna find? What was this? Nothing. Okay, so I just gotta find a few more stains. Beautiful. So where else would there be? What, maybe we clean up the potion supplies? Yes. It's like no one on this ship has heard of recycling. Beautiful, beautiful. The potion supplies were one of them. Do I add the other ones too? I've already added the empty crates okay. to my report. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, read the sign. Feel the warmth, feel the warmth, feel the warmth. I can steer. Can't. I can attempt to pet Scruffles, I'm not gonna though. Okay, and there's like a puddle under you, Bob, but... Alright, so let's go down here. Laundry time. There's probably some stuff over here in the, uh... The galley, right? Yeah, the dirty dishes. The dirty dishes, of course. Yes. It would take forever to itemize in here. I'll just make a blanket entry for the whole galley. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, we're doing it, we're doing it. Let's go down to the hold. There's a bunch of mess I made down here. Uh-huh. Uh, guess I should have cleaned that. 
but I'll leave it for the next swabby. Okay, so that's four things. Grease spots and hold, so I need one more. Where would the final one be? Do not know. Maybe, I mean, there's nothing really outside the ship, right? Is there, there's nowhere in LeChuck's office either, LeChuck's cabin, rather. Hmm, is there anything in the crow's nest that would uh, constitute a mess? No, it's just you, it's just Fon Bay. Yeah, there's nothing up here that I would say is a mess. So I got the potion stains, I got these dorks. The totem doesn't count, right? I mean, the totem's not dirty. No. Hmm. It's nothing to do with, like, the cannon? No. Oh, the potion supply is over here, too. I've already added the empty crates oh, to my report. Oh, no. Okay, that's the same thing. Yeah, it's just all the pot potion supplies in general. The cauldron? No. Huh, what is this final one? Oh, maybe it's the outside of my... Maybe it's the dirty porthole. Possibly? Yes. It's revolting. And it's there we go. It. Beautiful. That's it. I've completed my report. I should show it to Iron Rose. Yeah, it's because it's the outside one. I was like, wait, yeah, I guess that counts too, because there is grease on the outside as well. Beautiful, beautiful. Alrighty, well then. Uh, cool. Now I can show this to you? Could you initial this report, please? Huh. Yes. Very thorough. See? I am good at my job. I wouldn't go that far. Here. I've got a bunch of other reports ready for the captain's signature. Why don't you take him the whole stack? Yes! There we go. That is what I needed. Thank you. Just give them all to LeChuck. LeChuck will... Um, uh, yeah, the request for promotion. Combine it. Beautiful. Alrighty, look at us doing things. Can't you see me be thinking? Make it quick, Swabby! Arr, yes sir. Oh, you have a sponge you squeeze? <laughs> Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. Yo ho ho, it's a pirate's life for you. All stamped. Now please give me some peace and quiet. Thank ye, Captain. Just be taking this here promotion over. Alright. What's up? I have your promotion. Here you go. Good news, Chef Putra. You're officially promoted. I'm a chef! Chef Putra! <laughs> Thanks, Swabby. You're amazing. I owe you one. Alright, so you'll make me the so thing, right? Chef. Now that you're a chef, would you make me a scorched Alaska? Of course. I have to warn you, though, it's not going to be very spicy. It'll be fine. You wouldn't like the full strength version anyway. No, oh, but this is for flambe, not me. Damn it, I need spice. Some chefs these days use dandruff out of a can. But I would never take a shortcut like that. Ew. Scorched Alaska, extra mild. Thanks. Well, I need demon pepper to try a bite. Sweet. Okay. Sweet. So I need something to make it spicy. The chicken feed? No. Chicken feed would not be spicy. I'm imagining it's like the the demon, the devil crabs or something, right? Something to do with them? I need some way to get the pepper. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's stumping me still. Yeah. Where do I get more demon pepper though? I mean, if I just deliver it, nothing's gonna happen, right? So, what if I use it on, like, the pot? Hardly any warmer now. Damn. Hmm. Listen to the soup. So, it, like, if I just dump it in the soup, that does Hardly nothing. Hardly any warmer now. Hardly any warmer. Uh, smelly ingredients. Offer to help washing up. Hmm. I mean, I feel like I need to figure this out right now, or I'm not going to be figuring it out, right? Maybe if I put it on this? Impale the Scorched Alaska on the hot pokey thing. Yes. That seems promising, but inconvenient for carrying around. Damn it, Guybrush. You gotta work with me here. 
load that into there? No. Mm. Ready for cannon firing. Yeah, I was thinking maybe... What, okay, what about the fires up here? Yeah, what if I just set it on fire? Will that be hot enough for you? Hardly any warmer now. What do you mean, hardly any? I just put it in fire! Hardly any warmer now. Oh my god, this fire sucks, apparently. So I need demon fire. Or whatever. Oh wait, what if I put it on your head? That's demon fire, right? What if I use it on your head? Then you'll like it. Yes, it'll be spicy. No, that's- I, there's not a separate option for, like, your head, and you're not gonna like this because it's not hot enough. Huh. Well, I was gonna try and do this while I thought I had good ideas knocking around in my head, but, uh... Now I'm not so sure I do have good ideas knocking around in my head. I've gotta get the demon pepper from somewhere. Quartermaster, yeah, hmm. I kind of want to finish this thought before the episode ends, because it is going to be a pain to get it to work otherwise. Um, let's try calling everyone and see if I can get back down into the kitchen and maybe do something with that in there. Yeah, see, what I was thinking and why I was trying to put it in the soup is I was like, well, if you use the demon pepper in the soup, then maybe that would work? But I tried using it on here hardly and it's any like... warmer now. Yeah, I know, hardly any warmer. And if I try to use it on that, nothing. Okay, maybe if I offer it to you, you'll be like, oh, that's not hot enough for me. You can make it hotter by doing this. That's an alternative to d d the demon pepper or something. I had to call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Ugh, take the monstrosity away. Its blandness offends me, even at a distance. Scotch Alaska must be like a hot poker to the tongue. Hot poker to the tongue? I mean, that's why I was trying to use this thing, and it was like, uh-uh, that's not gonna work. There's gotta be something, like, can I grab, like, can I get a stick on fire or something, and... I put my pin into the fire, no. Oh my god, okay. I was trying- I was going through using everything in my inventory, I was like, what if I, like, heat up the key so it's super, super, like, molten hot or some shit, and then put it into the thing and have you eat that? Okay, we use- we use the knife to cut off the tip... ...of it, and then I can put... yeah, that in this. Okay, wow, yeah, that's probably the one that gave me the most trouble yet. That one took me a, a while of running around, and I had to resort to my my tactic when I'm super super confused of just start using everything on everything so yeah that's the first time I've actually had to do that in this game I believe in the other games a ton but this one that was the first one that got me I was thinking I just used it on there but I guess Guybrush's hint about it being like too long for carrying around should have been the hint to use the knife there alrighty <clears throat> I had to call in a few favors but I managed to get you this Scorched Alaska, sweet poisonous shades of my shady and poisonous childhood. There we go. Enjoy, friends. It seals me inside like a lost love. A masterpiece. Hey, there's some missing. I, um, well. Much respect, Swabby. I am in your debt. I hate being in debt, so. Uh, let's just say I'll vote your way. Next time we talk about that uh, plan of yours. The one with the monkeys. Alright, you, you respect me because I took a bite of it before giving it to you. Alright. You're not reading this. Can I borrow it? Sure. I'll let you have it for the rest of the day. Thanks. Beautiful. Alright, now we can continue with this stuff. So I'll just, I'll talk to Bob next time. This episode's getting a little bit long here, so... I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Return to Monkey Island, and I'll see you next time for some more.